When researchers dove into the water off the Florida Keys, they were stunned by what they saw. Once pristine coral reefs are now ghost reefs. Everything is dead. You can feel the heat in the water and you see, you look down and you see just white coral skeleton. It's heartbreaking. The water here is so unnaturally hot, the delicate corals can't survive. Ocean temperatures have been above 32 degrees Celsius for weeks. Florida's Manatee Bay hit a record 38.4 degrees. That's the same temperature as a hot tub. So if the coral animal begins to die, the reefs erode, the reefs break down. There's no more habitat left for these critical organisms that we rely on as people every day. Corals protect land from hurricanes. They provide a home to fish and other marine life. And now they're at risk almost everywhere. Globally, sea surface temperatures seen here in red have soared off the charts. Scientists are stunned by how fast it's all happening and by how hot the water is. When we realized all these temperatures were rising, we actually thought something might be broken with our model. It goes to show us how much excess heat energy um, from climate change, from global warming, um, how much of that excess heat the oceans have been absorbing. Back in the water, there's now a desperate race against time. Conservationists are trying to rescue the most endangered corals, nursing them in tanks, hoping to eventually replant the reefs. Right now, there are strains of coral in our nurseries and there are outplanted corals on reefs that would not exist without our work. Without global action to address climate change and bring down ocean temperatures, they admit they can only do so much. The trouble hidden below the surface is a clear warning sign about the dangers of our rapidly warming world. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.